this. Should I show you the pasta sauce that I made yesterday? Should I bring it out to you, show it to you? Ground beef, onions. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes. Okay, let me go get it. I like making roasted potatoes, right? So, roasted potatoes and yams. Yesterday, I just ate the pasta sauce with like some side stuff and roasted potatoes and pan. Didn't even make pasta, right? It's got mushrooms, greens. Right? It's pretty good. It's pretty good. Garlic, carrots lots of greens uh, onions cabbage and I usually when I make pasta I make a lot I make a lot I'm gonna bring some out I'm gonna I'm gonna go put some in a it's nice cold as well I'm gonna put some in a bowl and bring it out And I don't, I do salt it, but I don't over salt it because I know some people don't like over salting. I put some uh, shiitake mushrooms in this, as well as some oyster mushrooms, fried up in garlic. Okay, so I added those at the end. Let's put this. I'm gonna add some salt because I know the salt content. Really nice with olives. It's got a little bit of beets. It's really good. Super delicious. Oh, gee, the olive, how are you doing? Hope you're doing well. Nice. Balloon. Balloon hands. I need to start doing more homemade. Looks like, yeah, it's, it's pretty good. And when I cook pasta like this, I like to make it so we can eat for like three days or so. And it's 
not as much carbs. We're just eating. Mm. So good. Again, one recommendation I could give you. Start cooking at home. Buy good ingredients. Make good food. No fucking around. Right? This is your life. Your body. Your health. Your mind. Make sure you're eating well. Make sure you're eating well. And got some greens from the garden. Baby nights. I don't seem to have much patience when it comes to cooking. It's meditative. Baby nights. Do it. Get yourself to do it. Learn how to incorporate that into your life. Really. Chicho endorses cooking at home. Okay. What would you do? If I would do more homemade, but I. Uh, CBA can't with the cleaning. Oh, clean as you go. When you're cooking, learn how to clean as you go. Because you're. Let's say you're frying up mushrooms, right? With garlic. You got a couple of minutes. Clean. Put the stuff away. Okay. This book. Cold pasta sitting on a beautiful patio in the sun. What a lovely time. Yeah. So good. <laughs> it's delicious. Look, look at this goodness. What? Wait, look at that. We've got a quarter head of a um, cabbage in here as well. Yummy. Oh no, the olive. You're saying all that mess for something to be eaten in under 30 minutes. Nah, I'll pass. The You should make your own pasta. Oh yeah, one day maybe. Right? But don't think about it. Sitting down and eating in 30 minutes, sometimes even 10 minutes. Right? Think about it, it's gonna feed you for three days, right? It feeds you for three days. That's the key. That's the key, right? Salute, salute. Uh, baby nice, do you buy meat at a store? Do you buy uh, somewhere local where you know it's uh, not uh, local? Yeah, yeah, I go to a butcher. There's a butcher that we go to, it's a halal butcher. So they don't have pork or shellfish. So pork and shellfish, we tend to buy um, at a store, but it's uh, like a grocery store, but it's, uh, you know, ethical, ethnically raised and stuff like this. But lamb and beef and um, what if chicken, turkey, stuff like that, uh, we buy at a local butcher. And it's uh, grass-fed beef, right? Grass-fed beef. Bon appetit, Steve says. Thank you very much. Salute, salute. First time chat. Baby nice. Yeah, that's true. Cooking can and should be meditative. It is. ABC. Always be clean. Always be clean. Indeed. A dirty kitchen is dangerous. Always be clean. Right? Mmm. You all of you make your own pasta, man. I've never done. I'd like to do. Miss Balloon has. I feel like I have to stir things in the pan constantly. I forget I can actually leave the stove and do, do other things. Yeah. <laughs> right. You find cooking stressful, the olive. Baking I can do. Yeah, there are some people that don't cook. They bake only, right? Just hit the spot. Phenomenal. Phenomenal. 
I put on, like when I'm cooking, sometimes I do it in quiet, right? But a lot of times I have news going on, or a podcast going on. I listen to something, I don't watch because I'm cooking, I'm watching the cooking. But I put on some kind of, like I would listen to a lot of the Duran when I'm, when I'm doing this. I listen to Scott Ritter, I listen to a whole bunch of news, different types of um, the gray zone. So one, one way I stay up to date with the news is I spend a lot of time in the kitchen. Elder God, cooking is like having sex with me. Yeah, yeah, really. And if you can tag team with someone that you get along with when you're cooking together, fucking fantastic. Fan a fantastic. Yeah, baby nights. It, baby nights saying the right thing. Yeah, me too. Stressful, right? But we have to turn it around and some, somehow and enjoy it. Agreed. And don't be afraid to make mistakes. Sometimes I made stuff that doesn't taste good. Oh, crap. Right? Eat it. So I've never had to throw anything away. I don't think I have anyway. I can't remember. But eat it, even if it's not great. And think about what you could have done differently to make it better. Or what you did wrong to make it bad. Balloon hand says the more I practice the less stressful it becomes. Yeah, and don't be afraid to follow your recipe All right, it's rare for me to do cooking recipe baking. I follow recipes you have well not all baking Sometimes I wing it with the baking right but hardcore baking the classic stuff. I need to follow recipe uh, But I it's rare that I follow recipes. I'm just like mixing and matching chaos cooking The olive. Have to do uh, a yoga session midway through cooking to relieve my stress. <laughs> Dr. P, how are you doing? Making a smoothie. Have Chicho live going. Nice. <laughs> Our neighbors might be making major smoothies. Who knows? Elder God. You mix random ingredients and heat to create a masterpiece. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When you make that special thing that you didn't expect but that flavor man oof. that's when you wish you wrote down everything right. <laughs> blue man says if it's not good use hot sauce hot sauce fixes everything to a certain degree I agree to a certain degree I agree yeah and don't be afraid to add a little bit of hot sauce in the food as well right <laughs> the olive hot sauce is whack. <laughs> There's some amazing hot sauces out there. <laughs> Balloon has up so OG. Hilarious. Very nice. That's some, some dessert. little stems and all Shimon 89 hey Chicho have you ever grown your own chilies no I haven't and good evening to you as well I've never grown chilies for some reason I don't know why actually I should but I haven't I know it's something that a lot of people are very particular about they love it I just don't use too much chilies in my cooking, I guess. But I would if I was growing it. That's for sure. The olives, I love chilies. 
And grow chilies and make your own food. Even if it's just like chili sauce, salsa for for uh, chips, right? Like, you don't have to start off intricate. Make little tapas, right? You don't feel the heat from chilies? Wow, I do. Shimon, my retired neighbor is a fanatic. Grows all sorts in his allotment and gives me gives them gives me them all the time. Nice, nice. We have one person in our gilded server that uh, pawn. He grows a lot of chilies. He loves the chilies, man. Some of the hot sauce he's eating, the sauces and maces post pictures in our gilded server. Those things would going in hot 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 going out would be super crazy hot explosion hot all right like some of the hot stuff he's he's, he's posted that he's making oof, oof, oof. that'll put hair on your fucking nose <laughs> fajitas olive fajitas are the best with sour cream and chilies indeed love it love it Salsa and guacamole, avocado, tomatoes. Man, I'm getting more hungry. No, I'll hit the pasta more later. I'll hit the not pasta, but the meat sauce later. You don't feel the heat from jalapenos. Wow, wow, wow! I feel the heat hardcore. I don't use when I use. I don't use too much jalapenos. Very little. Very little. It. Fuck, just spices things up and from what I understand the reason it spices things up when you eat the hot in your tongue it then your taste buds open up so you're able to taste a lot of food a lot of the flavors yeah Elder God says it perfectly right to balloon hand miss balloon hands don't worry about failing practice makes perfect as they say yeah and you can experiment and stuff right Spicy foods, yeah, yeah. Gang, do not forget, do not forget. Free Assange, Free Assange, Free Assange. Julian Assange, publisher and journalist that has been crucified for trying to bring transparency and accountability of capitalist power to humanity. Something that we desperately need in our societies. For more information, see wikileaks.org, defend.wikileaks.org, or our Julian Assange on Wikileaks playlist on Censor2. Baby night, some of the opposite. I can't stand even mildly hot food. Wow, wow. And it masks the taste too much for me, really. Okay. I've gone through phases. There's, there's a time where I eat a lot of spicy food and I couldn't eat anymore. Now I'm introducing spicy food a little bit more. And it's phenomenal. I love it. Makes it taste too much, uh, masks the taste too much, uh, Baby Knight says. Olive is like, oh, not with me, practice means more failure. No, Olive, it doesn't. Olive, can you walk okay? Olive, do you walk? If you don't, I hope you roll well, right? But if you walk, right? You won't remember this. Your parents will, or guardians will. Yeah, I do. All of this. Good, good, good. <laughs> I thought it might be going down a dark road. But uh, you won't remember this, but you failed a lot when you tried to learn how to walk. You would have fall down on your ass so much, so much, right? But that didn't stop you from trying, right? Failure is part of life. If you've never failed in your life, you haven't fucking lived yet. Really. Fucking learn how to fail, right? 